Uh, magnet? Okay, so now I'm even more confused. Hmm. Well, we're getting closer to the center. There's a giant flaming tube. I am hitting the. How did you Damn it! He, you could have hit him. No, no, no. of the cent that centerpiece. Oh, look at that! There's Calamity nearby as well. So I guess this is just a complete secret dead end of it. Okay, hold on. It's of course going to be better than the cannon. I think it's a 30. That's a 4? Hmm. Yeah, so. You're now in that center area, or at least partly. It's just a dead end for. Two dollars, and we'll just go back to this. Ah, oh, great. Cool to have enough climbing stamina to basically. Uh, you can just climb this one wall and just jump straight to the. Okay. I am really confused now. 
Follow this path and you it can start getting out. It's not that confusing. Dead end again. Okay, good. We're back in the, the center area. This actually wraps. Okay. Yeah. Master Sword's still glowing. Because there's calamity, but. Well, at least it's very generous with its range. But it, the Master Sword also hasn't healed. Because it's not broken. Meaning it'll probably never get better unless I break it. Huh. Oh, seriously? I would assume they would be too high to see you. One would hope! There actually is a guardian in here. Oh, I was right! I was kidding when I made that statement. Oh, that's neat. I didn't know the map did that. This is a lonely five hundred one. We can scum it out! Close to him. Unfortunately. Uh. <sighs> Actually, oh! you're so close to him, you could just run up, smack him a little, run behind the pillar. This is also true. Now where did that put us? Oh! Behind the pillar! You might want to equip the Master Sword. It did damage! Yes, yeah, so you have the Royal Broadsword equip. I know, I know. Use the Master Sword, it's already about to break. And plus it's 60. <laughs> Hey, you didn't see me! The game got really confused in there. Okay, the Master Sword broke. But... That almost killed him. Shirk. Okay. Hopefully we'll get a good replacement weapon. Looks like there's a weapon right over there. Ooh, bunch of stuff. Wait, wait, what? It's a critical hit bonus. Hmm. Do we? Oh. But first, yeah, that proves the master sword doesn't take up an inventory slot. That might come in handy later. I'll just replace it with this for now. Yeah. 
That was interesting. <laughs> there actually was a guardian in here. Meaning this is probably the area that has like, before the shrine, there's like 20 guardians. But wouldn't they have to all be crashed? Oh, they are. Mm. Person, but you walk into the room and the And you see like five of the lasers. You're going back. What can we down? No, down and up and around. Yeah. Up and down and all around. Yeah. Uh. Oh, come on. Oh, it's kind of a waste, but... Where the fuck? Oh, I walked through the wall! Mm. Oh, you did come from an underpass section. Getting ever closer. Considering that the shrine was freaking out a lot, um, considering that there's that metal box right there. Yeah. The shrine, it's freaking out more than itself. grass around. You have to spread from grass, remember? What was that now? Why did that work? This is right by the shrine. There's a really good item hidden up here. have been good a minute ago, game. Do we get rid of one of the... The broadswords? Do we want the flame blade? Oh. The thing... Oh, I... Yeah, I was gonna say, that's better for long ranged combat do you want range or power it sucks should we drop this like i said do you want the range or the power um these are not only decently powerful, they're decently durable. Mm. <laughs> Part of me has a feeling you're just gonna walk up a staircase and have like five guardian lasers target you. 
Okay. Then maybe that was a different area. Why is there a torch around here? Don't know, but so maybe that was a different area. Because there's an area, it's just like a cave, and it's similar to this maze, and there's just lining the walls. It's just guardians. Mm. <sighs> Booyah! Now, after this, I need to find that there's a mini game I wanted to abuse for money. Most of the grinding I want to do off camera, but I want to show it off. Yeah, and this is one of the you reach it. What I was looking for. I want to find that one mini game. Win many, some. How many orbs is that? What? Oh, oh four. Yeah. I want to. We should maybe start upgrading stamina. Oh, totally. I want to find that one mini game, and if I find that mini game and win, I'm gonna get some arrows. And before I call it a recording session, I might go get a certain special shield. You're mad. I'm not mad. Also, those are. Those guys are way too close. Do I have the one tower? Oh! See if we can find that one minigame. Need to equip my snow stuff. So no barbarian cap. Well, you have it, you just can't use it. And then we might go get a certain special... You're mad. I'm not mad. You are mad. Nope. Again, Mad Hatter looks at you and goes, that dude is mad. <laughs> then I need to start doing some... Once I grind up a bunch of money and get a bunch of... Armor and stuff. Okay. So. Working on a game. Well, I thought you said having the one sword would work as. It does, but this mini game. I'm just pointing it out. Apparently, you can see it from up here. What's that in the distance? It's just this, like... Is that it? Over no! It's right there! Oh. That's it! Yeah! Yeah! Best minigame in the game, and apparently this guy makes terrible ice puns. I like this guy. <laughs> if we win this, it's the best money grinding trick in the game. And there's a cheeky way to basically always win. Okay. Oh. So 
So the cheeky way to win, pick up the snowball. This dude will always stop here. Walk in front of him. And make sure that basically from, it's a little bit hard to do, but like you line up and you move and you find this little heel. Apparently, if I drop the ball, this is why I'm trying to line up with this guy. Because this little heel I'm trying to line up with. Apparently, if I drop the ball, like... It'll take practice for me to get a feel for it, but that generally gets you a strike. Thanks, internet! Hmm. Well, damn. Oh. I wish real bowling was that easy. And now, the reason this is considered the best way to grind money. I paid 20. You should do this all for porn. I want to get just a little bit of money! Just a tiny bit, Carson! Oh. I'm just gonna play it like... Maybe one more time after this! I'm gonna do it a little bit slower than a lot of people, but... Once you get a feel for it, and you can do it pretty... Damn. Oh. That is how you grind money! That! Oh. Okay! Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. No, they're right. That there's this is kind of a glitch in the game. Mm -hmm. What you're supposed to win from this is a blizzard ride. Mm -hmm. But the game can't give me it cuz I don't have um You don't have space in your inventory? Nope. Mm -hmm. So it has to give me something. <laughs> uh Okay. One, one more time. So wait, what happens when you win the blizzard rod and keep doing this? Does it still do the same thing? You will get blizzard rods until you run out of space. So... Oh. Hmm. So if we need blizzard rods... Hmm. But you have to get a strike. Oh yeah. Nine hundred rupees minus the sixty to play, but and I will be doing that off camera. And next time you see us, we're gonna be front loaded. You have max money. How long did you do this? Twelve hours. Now I've got to go load up on some arrows and go get a certain special shield. You're... you're mad. I'm not mad. You are mad. Nope. I'm not mad. Yes, you are. Uh-uh. This is going to be a terrible idea. It's not a terrible idea. Yes, it is. It is not! Yo. By the time we return to the game, I will be armed to the ever-loving teeth! So, I'm gonna be grinding money for several hours just between recordings.
And now we've got maximum power. I just need a few arrows for the trip at large. It'll be fine, Garthen. Oh, the Master Sword's gone. It broke, remember? That's interesting. What the fuck is it? I believe it just goes... I believe it actually does sit in your weapons, but then when it breaks, it just goes... Oh, there it is. Recharge in minute 59. Mm -hmm. I don't even... Eh, it's not... Don't aim a pit for it to me, dude. I think I wandered completely out of the village. Yes. Whoopsie doodles. <sighs> Nine hundred rupees. Because when they say general story, they mean weapons and vegetables. Because those two things totally go right next to each other. And now I've got a decent amount of... Oh. <laughs> oh yeah! These working! Oh. Hmm. This works in, um... Like, see? Because oh. it's 300... Yeah. Oh. Oh. I need some money to grind, so. Cause that, and that's just a singular bomb arrow. So I need some money so I can grind, but that, that'll be pretty good. And then, okay. 33 of these, 15 of these, 20, okay. Close this warp point. Um, that one right there. Go down. Not that one. The... That's close. So is this. I think the other one was closer. This is a tower. Here we go, buddy. And so, so between recordings, I will be grinding up materials and money, and next time you see us, I should have a few thousand rupees. I'm going to save my little bit of money. Wait. What? Didn't get a stamina level up. Damn it! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Should we go do that now? Do you want to? Yeah, it might not be the best. Yeah, just go get the shield for now. This is a great idea, Garden. It's a mad idea. Nah. This is not going to go over well. Sure it will! Oh. <laughs> okay, guys, so my question of the day is... What do you think of snowballing? Also, if you've played this game, how consistently can you get strikes? I think the one tip I use to get strikes is pretty good, but later on when I was doing off-camera grinding, 
I found another really nice way that works pretty consistently for getting strikes. But anyway, I would really love to know what you guys think. You can leave your thoughts, opinions, and answers in the comments below, or you can leave them on social media. All my social media links are in the video description. Now as always, I need to visual for a minute. If you liked my video, please hit the like button and leave some comments. If you're new to my channel and want to see more of my videos, please hit the subscription button and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please ring the bell next to the subscription button. That gives you the proper notifications of whenever I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. Doing all of these things really helps out the channel and it really helps our communities grow. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time.